Hi everybody, it's Savvy That Summer. In today's video, we're going to be going over an incredible, incredible, let me tell you, Sims 2 inspired save file. So, so this save file is by the Swallowed by Seaweeds user. Their name is really funny to me. So you can grab the save file from Tumblr and it is by the Violet Pixels over on Tumblr, like I said. This save file is called the Uberhood 3.0. Sims 2 to Sims 4 save file. And these are the worlds that have been updated for the save file. Not every single world is going to be completed, but let me tell you, the ones that are, are amazing. These are the worlds that have been updated in the save file. So as you guys can see here, there are a lot of worlds. Not all of them have been done, but the majority of them have. More importantly though, the worlds that have been updated are filled with townies from the Sims 2. So if you wanted to read a little bit about the save file, you can do so on this post. And if you wanted to download it, you would just click here, download and just grab it from this Sims file share website. So when you load up Willow Creek, it is supposed to match Pleasant View. And then when you load up Oasis Springs is supposed to reflect Strange Town from The Sims 2. Ucrest is supposed to be the free time world that we get with The Sims 2 as well. So as you guys can see here, if you guys ever had The Sims 2 free time expansion, you have these same counties and pre-mades that came with it. They added that in here. It's so, so good. Windenburg is supposed to reflect Veronaville. And let me tell you, it definitely does. It looks incredible. Look, there's Monty, there's Consort Cat family. We have the Summer Dream family. Oh my gosh, you guys, it just, I'm so excited just going through the save file. It just makes me so happy. Like literally, I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice, but it's just so exciting for me. And then same as you know, it's supposed to reflect the Sims 2 um, Bella Donna Cove, which is like the apartment world that came with it. We do have this family in here that comes with the apartments and all the lore and backstories that come with the Sims 2 families are so good and they're, they have so much depth to them. This is the Peterson family. I loved playing with her in the Sims 2, so I'm sure you guys will enjoy her backstory too. We have this Cleveland family here, which is a really good backstory as well. We've got the Riley family. So basically these two um, neighbors that live right across from each other are actually single parents. So. It's really fun to read through their bio as well, but oh my gosh, you guys, this is like verbatim from The Sims 2, and it's just really incredible how amazing these Sims look and look so similar to their original characters. I just love it so much. So with The Sims 2, when we got the free time expansion, it did add in some fantasy elements, added in like witches and stuff like that. So Forgotten Hollow does add some of those characters in here. We do have the Cordell sisters here, and they were supposed to be witches in The Sims 2 free time. So, and they're kind of reflective of the Pleasant sisters. So take a look at them as well if you wanna brush up on your lore. But like I said, a lot of these have been added in here and it just looks so good, you guys. So, so good. I can't wait to like actually play this off camera. Cradleton Bay is supposed to reflect River Blossom Hills from The Sims 2 seasons. And again, it has all of the families in here that were added in to The Sims 2. And they just look so good. Like I said, they look so true to the original characters. We have the Roth family here. They were supposed to reflect the Sims goth family, which we, I mean, we all kind of thought the Roth family was supposed to resemble them, but I mean, it's just a theory that we all thought. But if you guys load into their house, it looks exactly like the Sims goth family home in just different colors. And then we have the Wayne sisters in here too. Honestly, this creator just did an, an amazing job on this. And again, like I said, I'm just speechless. Like everything is matching up with the Sims too. So I do want to go through all the worlds with you guys and just kind of go over the townies. I don't know if I'm gonna go super in depth with them, but I do wanna go through all the families that are in here and all the households. So we do have the goth family here and it is reflective off of The Sims 2. Cassandra is ready to start a family of her own, but can she tame the town Casanova? And can Mortimer bounce back after the disappearance of his wife, Bella? I don't know if Bella is in this save file. I would love if she's in Stranger, or I guess, I was gonna say Strange Town like Sims 2, but I guess Strangerville in, in this one, but we'll see. But I really like Cassandra's outfit that we're seeing right here. I like that it's, you know, very reminiscent on her Sims 2 version. And Alexander is a child and she is a young adult, which again is accurate. So I love that. And Morty looks so good. I love his like little makeover and he looks so handsome. So now we have the iconic Pleasant family. I love them so much. So these family are nothing but drama, drama, drama. Let me tell you guys, this family is just, when you think about a family that's supposed to be like picture perfect, no, 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 no. They are so much drama. And again, 
Their makeovers are very, very close and very similar to their Sims 2 versions. They look extremely accurate. I love the colors that they chose. The colors are, um, you know, on point. So their little bio says, on the surface, Daniel and Mary Sue Pleasant seem to have the perfect life, but is their love a flimsy fascade? And can Angela and Lilith make the right choice when it comes to love? So if you've never played The Sims 2 or if you're not familiar with it, The Sims 2 comes with a bunch of different pre-made households that are in the original um, Pleasant View. So Willow Creek is reflective of Pleasant View. And Pleasant View as a town had so much drama and the lore was so thick, you guys. Let me tell you. So if you've never played Sims 2, definitely try to play it if you ever have the opportunity to do so. I promise you, you will fall in love with it. And I just wish everyone had the chance to play it because it's such an incredible game. And people like me that grew up with it, just, you know, it's so nostalgic for us. So seeing all this in the game here just like literally makes me so happy. And those of you that are in the same boat as me, like totally know what I'm talking about. So <laughs> let me stop yabbering and let's get into Don Lothario's bios. Who is Don Lothario? Is his engagement to Cassandra Goth genuine? And what about the rumor that her mother Bella was last seen scaling the decks of his condo? We'll never know, you guys. We will never know. Also, I just want to point out too, their aspirations and their traits are accurate as well. So he is athletic and he is non-committal and he's also a romantic and he does have the romance. In The Sims 4, it's the serial romance. And again, his whole look is just completely accurate. Like his aesthetic is just literally on point. And if we go back to the Pleasant family, their aspirations and traits also are reflective of their Sims 2 version. So again, this safe out is just so, so good with the little details. I love it. Here's the Caliente family. So this is Dina Bachelor. So her last name is Caliente technically, but she's Dina Bachelor. So in the original game in Sims 2, she is widowed by Bella Goff's brother. His name is Michael Batchelor. And Dina was married to Bella's brother, Michael Batchelor. And he passed away and Dina inherited a little bit of money from him. And I don't know if it was this condo he lived in for the lore or they just moved in here like in AKA Pleasant View, which we're now in Willow Creek. Just a little bit of Sims 2 lore for you. And then this is Dina Caliente and her aspiration is a romance. So she's a serial romantic in The Sims 4, romantic, non-committal, just like Dawn. She's also a hothead as well. And Dina loves nothing but money. So of course she has her materialistic traits and she has her fabulously wealthy aspiration, non-committal as well, and also romantic. These two girls are supposed to be hot, hot. The Caliente sisters are basically the bread and the butter of the Sims franchise along with the Goth family. Like they are like one of the most iconic families ever. So their bio says, was it just coincidence that the Caliente sisters arrived on the eve of Bella's disappearance? And is their interest in Mortimer physical or fiscal? I'm sure most of us already know that answer though. <laughs> and then right over here in the very back of this neighborhood, we do have the Dreamer family. So if you guys know who Dirk Dreamer is, um, Ashley plays. She's another YouTuber. She has a whole LP series and Dirk Dreamer is actually in The Sims 4. They did bring him and Get Famous and that expansion pack. He's actually a townie in Get Famous. So this is his Sims 2 version and this is his father, Darren Dreamer. Darren Dreamer is a painter in The Sims 2. So they did add in creative and gloomy as well as perfectionist and he does have the Renaissance Sim aspiration. Dirk Dreamer and in this save he's a teenager just like in sims 2 and he has the mansion baron aspiration so he wants to be like basically wealthy and have lots of money so in the sims 2 darren dreamer his father had the knowledge aspiration so that's where that comes from so that's supposed to be like reflective of that and also dirk is a bookworm and he's also a geek as well he was very smart in the sims 2 and he was also in private school too i honestly wish we still had private school that would have been so awesome so let's read their bio Darren is pursuing his dream of being an artist while his son Dirk hits the books. And Darren may have found his muse, but will his creativity be enough to win Cassandra's affection? Basically, Darren has a big old steaming fat crush <laughs> on Cassandra Goth. And basically in The Sims 2, she is obsessed with Don Lothario. She wants to be with him. She's engaged to him. She's a family sim though and she wants to have a big family and she wants to get married, have a family and all that. Don Lothario has relationships with Dina and Nina and with a maid named Caitlin and he was apparently flirting with her mother so we don't really know what's going on. So there's just a lot of messy 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 drama in Pleasant View aka Willow Creek and The Sims 4 save so 
definitely dive into it when you guys get the chance. It's a lot of fun to recreate and play and just like deal with all the messiness. Also, these houses right here in the backhand corner are so nostalgic, you guys. Oh my god. Especially this one. I used to love to put my sims in this one. This one was kind of a weird floor plan. And I love this house right here. This house is so so nostalgic for me. I used to always have my Sims play in there. I did want to point out though, these lots right here are original to the Sims 4. These ones were not updated, but we do have the Woodland Park and we do have the Broke family over here. This is also the other iconic family, which is the Broke family. This is Brandy Broke right here. She's a single mother. She is raising Dustin Broke and also Bay Broke. She's actually pregnant as well. She has a little baby on the way. For their bio, it says Brandy was left to raise two boys alone, following her husband's suspicious Pull ladder accident. With Dustin acting out, can Brandy teach young Bay? Bew. Bew, Bay, Bew. I don't know how to say his name. I still haven't been able to figure it out. But if you guys know, definitely comment down below and let me know. But I think it's Bay. Bew. Bew. I think it's Bew. Bo. Bo. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, young Bew to make the right decisions in life. So this family, you know, they don't have a lot of money. They only have $929. So She's trying to raise two boys living this um, little trailer and, you know, she's struggling a little bit. I also want to point out to the funds here. The Calientes only have $1,040, which is pretty accurate for The Sims 2. He does have $20,000, so he has quite a bit. Uh, and I'm pretty sure the Goth family should have around 50K, if I remember correctly. No, 24. So that doesn't really apply to this. Moving on to Oasis Springs. This is supposed to be our strange town reflective of Sims 2 world. This is the Smith family here. We have the Grunt family. We have the Spectre family. We have the Curious family, the Beaker family. So those are all of the pre-maids that come with the Sims 2. This is the Smith family. They're actually aliens. So this is PT9. Most people call him Paul. Um, and this is Jenny Smith. This is his wife this is johnny smith their son and then also jill smith which is their daughter and they have the famous cheese hair going on which is funny after a fruitful career politician technician nine has retired to his favorite planet but can his son johnny make friends and fit in or is his family just too strange for strange town definitely not definitely definitely not so again he's an alien Jenny's not an alien and their daughter isn't either. She's not a hybrid or anything like that. She's just sim form. And but Johnny is actually Johnny doesn't have the alien trait in here. I wonder if he just has green skin. Interesting. This is also another iconic family. This is the Grunt family. So he is a single father. This is General Buzz Grunt and he did have a wife. I believe her name was Lila and she passed away. A lot of people think that Olive Spectre over here actually killed Lila, but that's another story for another day for Sims lore. <laughs> um, definitely check out Plumbella's videos. She has a lot of lore information if you guys ever want to check that out. She has a lot of good lore videos. Tank has always lived under the hard thumb of his father, General Buzz Grunt. In this domestic boot camp, can Tank prove his worth his demanding dad? Here's Rip over here. So Rip is very carefree. He's like the carefree son and he has the romance aspiration. And I do remember too from The Sims 2, he enjoyed art and music and everything like that. And then this is Tank. So he's basically trying to be like his father's like pride and joy and everything like that. He's trying to like follow in his footsteps. And then we have Buck Grunt. And I remember he was the youngest son from The Sims 2 household. And I remember he wanted to be a dancer. So that was kind of like against of like against what his dad wanted to do. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember this nightclub? It says crypto nightclub in Del Sol Valley. Ah, oh my gosh. It's so nostalgic. Okay. I feel like the safe out video is going to be so long. I'm sorry in advance if it is, but I know you guys actually like these videos and you, you guys normally like how long they are. So just, I apologize in advance if this one's a little longer, but the safe out is way too good to not like take my time in. <laughs> all right so this is the specter family so this is olive specter this is the aunt to ophelia nigmas so she is her niece this is ophelia ophelia is so pretty they look so good and olive specter is an elder in the sims 2 as well as in here who is buried in olive specter's garden will the mysterious aging outcast leave her fortune to her niece ophelia or as rumored to an unnamed heir so if you're familiar with that we already know that that is going to be nervous subject which is her heir this is actually i'm telling you guys this is just so much it's so much like drama and there's just <laughs> so much lore this is what i'm talking about like the sims 2 is literally amazing so before i get ahead of myself olive specter is the quote-unquote mother to subject to nervous subject and nervous subjects father technically is the grim reaper so theory is is that olive specter basically unalive sims so she can see the grim reaper because she's in love with the grim reaper 
So eventually they woohooed and then nervous subject came about. But I think he was also taken away from her for like abandonment. So it's just a whole thing. And all this stuff is on The Sims 2 lore. And this is Circe Beaker. They're basically like scientists and they like basically use nervous subject here to basically run tests and different things on nervous subject. It's just, yeah, again, it's a whole thing. And it's just, they're like super, super shady ass people. <laughs> and this is Loki. Loki and Cersei are married, by the way. And they live in this ginormous house here in AKA Strange Town, but they're an oasis. And if we pan over to the Curious family over here, we do have these three brothers. If I remember that correctly, I believe they're all brothers. I know they're all related at least. So their bio says, in search of truth and mystery, the Curious brothers, okay, yeah, they're brothers, got more than they were expecting. Can Pascal, Laszlo, and Vidkid cope with their new roles as cosmic parents? Basically, Pascal here is pregnant with an alien pregnancy. So he was abducted by aliens. <laughs> I know this is wild, y'all, but it's, it really happens in The Sims 2. Your Sims can actually get abducted in The Sims 2 from aliens, and it shows like a whole cutscene. It's really, really cool. But anyways, Pascal here, um is pregnant with an alien so he should be expecting and then um this is also the other brother here and this is laszlo as well also this poll is 94 road to nowhere and it looks verbatim to the one in the sims 2 it makes me so happy just looking at it so now moving over to newcrest we have this family here it says can victor convince elizabeth to grow their family will elizabeth listen to him what will lewis discover in the attic could it be the answer to his long life question so in The Sims 2 free time, there was genies in the game and like a little like lamp. And basically they could rub the lamp and a genie would come out and they would get three wishes. So that's where that lore comes from. I believe that this is, but these two are married here. And basically Victor wants to expand the family and Elizabeth is kind of like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to, I don't want any more kids. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's kind of like a little bit of, a little bit of, um, drama brewing there. Then we have the Bell family over here. They're a super cute family. We have Isaiah here. We have Hannah. These two are married. And then we have, um, the sister of Hannah as well. And then this is their son, Daniel. And their bio says the Bell family is doing wonderfully well. But will Hannah's sister moving in cause a crucial disturbance? So basically, um, Sharon like may cause a little bit of issues for them. She does have the romance aspiration and you can kind of just do with what you want to do with that. If you get what I'm saying, AKA drama. Going back to Windenburg, here are the Windenburg descriptions for the families. Juliet Cap has fallen for Romeo, golden child of the rival Monty clan. Can the Cap set aside their grudge and put Juliet's happiness first? So basically, Consort Cap and the grandfather do not like each other. And Juliet are, you know, it's just like Romeo and Juliet. They're in love with each other, but the grandparents are feuding. So you can just kind of play that out if you guys want to. Then we have this kind of off the wall family. And this is the summer dream family. They come from the Sims 2 Veronaville. And I don't know if they're supposed to be like fairies, magical or whatever, but they have like these like very interesting looks they have a lot of like stage makeup on their faces and they're supposed to kind of be dreamy in a way they don't really talk about much in the sense too the summer dreams kindly nature and zest for life have cast a romantic spell over veronaville's youth but will there be any magic left for Puck? So like I said, they're supposed to be like a magical family, but in The Sims 2, at that time when the game shipped out, there wasn't a magical pack yet. So they weren't like magical. They didn't have any powers or anything like that. But I think that was the intent behind their lore. So heading over to San Maestrino, which again is supposed to be The Sims 2 like apartment. Isabella and Benjamin have a great life together. Things are next to perfect right now. Well, Isabella's uncle Carlos and his wild exploits bring shame to the family name. So here is Isabel, here is Benjamin. So these two are married and these are their children. They're a really cute family. When Armand demanded an heir, Jessica Peterson knew it was time to leave. She just didn't want to be tied down when Bella Donna Cove was so filled with romantic possibilities. Of course, when she left Armand, she also left his vast fortune and standing in society. Can she make her own way? So here is Jessica. She has the fortune aspiration. She's a bro. She's mean and she's also outgoing. She did live in a really small trailer. And even though she's in an actual apartment in here, it's still very reflective of how it was in The Sims too. Here's the Riley family. When Timothy Riley moved to Belladonna Cove, he wanted to start a new life, make a solid future for his daughter. Then he met Vivian Cho and now he hopes they can join forces. 
he thinks Sally would enjoy having a little sister. So like I was showing you guys earlier, these two are super cute. They're neighbors and they both have um, a child. So it's just really sweet. Vivian finds being a single mom challenging. Work is demanding and when she gets home, a stew wants all of her attention. Vivian still wants to find true love again. She wonders if she can find time to spend time with that nice man down the hall. So this is definitely like a setup for these two neighbors to fall in love essentially. So you guys can play that out how you guys want to. So this is Armand. It says when Jessica left him, Armand spent a few months sulking and thinking the sun would never come out again. But when he adopted little Tara, she convinced him otherwise. He couldn't be more proud of his heir. So basically Armand wanted to have a family and Jessica, the one that lives over here, um, she basically divorced him and left him. That's the Sims 2 lore. And he decided to adopt a child and he adopted this teenager here, Tara. And yeah, so he has the heir, which I kind of like that story for him. You know, it's like he wanted to have a family. His partner didn't want to. They left and he was like, all right, I'm going to have a little family of my own. So, yeah, so I like them. I think they're cute. So I do want to check out some of these households and just see if their relationships are still accurate. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I do want to check out the Pleasant family here. If you know the Sims 2 house, you know, you know, it looks so good. Oh my goodness. I'm like seriously so happy looking at this. It's so nostalgic. It looks so incredible. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. That's their like little kitchen. And that looks exactly like it. Exactly, you guys. It's kind of a weird layout, but it's just kind of, it's definitely Sims 2 era. Let me tell you that. But the coloring of this home, the whole layout, the floors in here. They have like a blue tile floor in their bathroom. Their bed looks accurate with the color too. I just love how they brought The Sims 2 the best way they could and made it into The Sims 4. It just honestly looks so, so good. This is Angela's bedroom over here. This is actually Lilith, her sister. They don't have a very good relationship, but she's in her bedroom, which I find to be kind of funny. And then if we go through this hallway over here, this is their bathroom. And then this is Lilith's bedroom here. There again, it's a very weird layout. It kind of reminds me of like an attic room, kind of like a, I don't know, afterthought bedroom. They're very strange layouts, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm not gonna diminish that because I know it's weird. And then we have their backyard, which is accurate. Again, they had like two trees back here. They had like a little pool and they had a swing set. So it all just looks very reflective of how it used to be. And the sims too and i honestly just love that for them um here's daniel and mary sue pleasant let's check and see if the relationship panel is the way it should be herb is in here so herb is actually her dad and her mother is coral oldie also i just really love and appreciate too that the creator took the time to add in all these family members as well as the relationships panels like they actually added all the connections of the relationships so for example and the Sims 2, Cassandra and Mary Sue were best friends. So she just had that in here. And then Coral and Herb are her parents, but they don't have a good relationship. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe that was just like an oversight. So going through Daniel's relationship panel. So Jennifer Burb is actually his sister. And if we look in his romance, we can see that he is having an affair with Caitlin Langerak. She is the maid of Pleasant View in The Sims 2. And look at their relationship, you guys. Mary Sue and Daniel do not have a very good romance level, but Caitlin and Daniel do. So he is just, he's such a grimy dude, man. Also, look at this, you guys. He hates Dustin, which is his daughter's boyfriend angela is dating dustin and he doesn't like dustin so that's reflective as well and then we have his parents diane and jeff too so all of the lore in here is just so so good and that's what i'm telling you guys it's just incredible all of the past family members are in here as ghosts if we look at angela's panel she has relationships with johnny with lilith she has relationships with her cousins and her aunts I love that. I love that so much. And then Lilith is also dating Dirk Dreamer. And so that relationship is reflective too. She also does know Rip. She knows Albany. So she actually knows people, which I really like. They don't know a ton of people, but at least there's some type of relationship, you know, management going on here. You guys, right now I am literally speechless. I'm speechless. I cannot believe how accurate the goth mansion looks. I cannot believe this is Sims 4, y'all. This looks exactly, like I'm telling you, exactly like The Sims 2 version. It's wild. I can't believe a builder was able to like make this completely accurate. Y'all might think I'm a nerd, but I'm gonna tell you this game is just so nostalgic for me. And I, playing The Sims 2 just brought so many memories for me growing up. 
So just being able to like relive all this in The Sims 4 just really makes me happy. So here's Morty, here's Cassandra. They're in their winter weather wear because it is winter time right now. I did wanna check on their relationship panel and just see where they are. <gasps> okay, so Bella is in the safe all you guys. I wonder if she's missing though. I am curious about that. Like, well, she's missing. But I wonder where she is in the safe file. I'm really, really curious. I wonder exactly where she is in the save file. I'm gonna leave that for you guys to figure out because I want there to be some type of like secrecy or some type of like excitement for when you guys when you guys load up this save file. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it a secret wherever Bella is. I am gonna try and find her, but I don't wanna tell you guys. <laughs> he also hates Dawn. So looking at the relationship panel, oh my goodness. Look at this lore, you guys. This is what I'm talking about. It is incredible. So here's Bella. We have Cassandra. All the relationships are just perfect. He hates Dawn. He has all of his relatives in here. Look, there's Agnes Goth, Gunther Goth. That's his dad. Jacosta. Jacosta is actually Bella's mother who passed away. So that's her maiden name, Bachelor. And we have Michael, who is her brother. We have Cornelia, Frida, all of them, you guys. And then if you go over here, just like in The Sims 2, there's like all their graves. I just love this. I can't even imagine how long this took make this safe file so definitely send them a lot of love when you guys do check this out they definitely deserve it also cassandra's veteran looks verbatim to the way it was in sims 2 i did want to check on her relationship panel so she does have a crush on darren currently so they are lovebirds and dawn and her are engaged so that lore is correct so again the lore in this is just so so good her and Dina and Nina, it looks like their relationship is very, very low because they haven't known each other very long. And her and Mary Sue are best friends. And then she does know General Buzz, which I did not know that, so that's interesting. And she has a good relationship with her brother also. In her job, she's also a scientist, which is reflective of The Sims 2. Looks like Morty still has his job as well in the scientist career. He's actually level 9, so he's about to be promoted to level 10. But in The Sims 2, he is retired, so I thought that was kind of interesting that she did keep his job, which I like, so that's cool. I did want to confirm, but Brandy is pregnant, just like in The Sims 2. So when you load up the game in The Sims 2, Brandy doesn't have a, a baby bump yet, but I think it's like the next day when you're playing this family, like it loads up. I think like a day into it, and then eventually she'll get her little pop-up that she's pregnant. So I love that, that she's not showing yet. So I wanted to check out the Brooke family's household and load up their actual home. So this is their small little AKA trailer. It's just like the Sims 2 trailer and it's so cute. And obviously we don't have trailers in the game, but it looks very reflective of the Sims 2 version. And it just looks so, so accurate. And I just, oh, I love it, you guys. It's so good. When I'm seeing these builds in The Sims 4, like it just inspires me, y'all. It makes me so excited to play. You know what I mean? And I just really love how well the creator, you know, transferred everything that they could with their creativity. Obviously, they knew it wasn't going to be, you know, you can't always match everything verbatim. But I mean, she used what she had and she did an excellent job. So I remember this armoire like it was a really big wardrobe in The Sims 2. It was like a huge, massive red one. And I think it was actually located right over here. I could be wrong. It could be right here. But it was huge. So I like that they use this one here. I think this is the laundry day one, but it looks so good. And they have a really small bathroom in here, too. This is Dustin's room here. And then poor little Bo. Bo has a super small bed in the hallway because they don't have enough space for him. But yeah, as you can see over here, this is their kitchen. It's pretty small. I would even say, too, in The Sims 2, this kitchen is probably a lot smaller, but for purposes of trying to design it like The Sims 4, like she did an excellent job making it. So now that we're here, it looks like Morty's over. He wants to hang out with Brandy. But let's check out Brandy's relationship panel. So her husband died in a pool accident, okay? This is their tiny little pool. I'm still very curious as to why the pool was this small. I don't know if they like stopped renovating it or they stopped making it because he like passed away from it. I don't know. This is her husband, Skip Broke. And here's Dustin. They actually have a good relationship in The Sims 4, but in The Sims 2, they do not. They don't like each other because basically Dustin is getting into a lot of trouble. And then her and Bo get along really well. And then these are her parents. This is Betty and Bob. Betty and Bob are um, from The Sims 1, but those are her parents and they've passed away. And I love just seeing these other people too that are in her household and they're all related in their family tree. 
And then here's Jennifer too. Jennifer is her friend. They also have $929 and I think that's pretty similar to what is shown when you first load up this family. But I do remember too when you do load up in The Sims 4 you do have to pay bills for Brandy and I'm pretty sure that's what makes everything go kind of haywire because she ends up having to like pay a bunch of bills for for the family and then she can't work in The Sims 2 because she's like on maternity leave it's just a whole thing you guys so anyways that is the broke family definitely let me know if you guys are gonna play with them this is don lothario's condo and it looks so good it looks just like it from the sims 2 oh my god look at this giant telescope that's so funny because i'm pretty sure the save file was made before we had our telescope base game update but besides a giant telescope, it looks just like it. He did have a hot tub over here on his patio. His condo was kind of laid out like this. It was kind of like a weird floor plan. And he had a red room and it looks just like this. Oh my goodness. And then this was his living room. Like I said, it was a very strange um, layout. So the Sims 2 homes were kind of strange, but that was just kind of the quirkiness of it. But this was his layout. He had his kitchen in here. He had a he had some gym equipment in his kitchen area, which was really funny. But yeah, let's check out his relationship panel. I wanted to do that with you guys. So again, he hates Mortimer. Um, he is dating Caitlin Langerak. He also has a romance with Dina and Nina and he's also in a relationship with Cassandra so it's just crazy y'all it is so crazy up in here I love all of the lore and the relationships reflecting the way they should and then also too we do have the family members that have passed away they're all in his family tree and I love the accuracy so his parents are right here and then he even has grandparents in his family tree so I did want to take you guys to the Beaker household just so you guys could see this and those of you that have played The Sims 2 we could all kind of have a nostalgic little fangirl moment, but look at this house. It looks just like the Sims 2 version. Oh my God. Look at the detail of this, you guys. Like it literally looks just like it. Even like the portions though are a little bit better, which I love because the Sims 2 version is like, there's so much unused space, but yeah, it looks so good. And then yeah, you have this ginormous like stairway here and this was their kitchen. This area here looks just like The Sims 2. I can't even believe that. Oh my god, that looks so good. So basically in The Sims 2, the Beaker family, they had like all these like medical equipment and they would basically use it on nervous subject and they would like test things on him. Like it was, it was really bad. They're like not good people at all. They were like really, really bad people. But down here is where nervous would basically sleep. So it was pretty sad. Um, he lived in the basement and in The Sims 2 though, it was actually a basement level. So you would have to like go down into the basement, but in here you actually don't have to do that, which is kind of nice. And here it kind of reminds me of like an arena or something and they're like watching him sleep or like studying him while he sleeps. So that is kind of interesting to me. I'm honestly so speechless at how accurate and so good Nervous looks. Like, doesn't that not look just like him? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Nervous. Apparently Nervous didn't want to have a moment. He didn't want to be in the spotlight. But yeah, like his facial features and his hair, like he just looks so good compared to his Sims 2 version. It's just scary accurate. I love it. I did want to show you guys this pool. If you guys know this iconic Sims 2 pool, oh my goodness, it makes me so happy. It looks just like the one from the Sims 2 and I love it. Okay, it is winter time, so hopefully um, Nervous Subject doesn't freeze to death, but I did want to just show you guys a few lots and then we'll end the save file review and I'll leave the rest for you guys to check out on your own because I think it's important for you guys to have some things to check out and for me to not spoil everything. But over here, there's like a hot tub in The Sims 2. And this looks, again, verbatim to the way it does in um, Sims 2. I know I've been saying Sims 2 a lot, but I just have to make sure I'm being accurate of like whatever I'm talking about. I don't think there's any lights in here. That might have been an over oversight. But yeah, there's some lights in here. But this was a basically a grocery, uh, a community lot in The Sims 2. And there was a giant pool. It's basically a giant pool lot. And then there was also a section for your Sims to order and buy some groceries. So your Sims could come up to this like little room right here and order some groceries. It was pretty cool. And then there were some bathrooms as well. And then over here was like basically the grocery store or where your Sims could come in here and buy some like concession stuff like that. But I'm just honestly in awe of this save file. It's just so incredibly beautiful and it just makes my little nostalgic heart so happy. 
And yeah, this build looks so good. Definitely check it out, you guys. Um, those of you that love Sims 2, I'm sure you'll love this a lot as well. It'll bring back a lot of memories. So this is the Crypto Nightclub. And again, the accuracy of it is just so good. I'm gonna say that probably a lot in this save file, but it's just so good, you guys. Let's take a look at it and let's just see um, how it looks in the game. So in The Sims 2, I just like the way this looks. There's a bar over here. This actually looks really good for The Sims 4. It's kind of a different nightclub. Like it's not something like you're like, oh, that's so aesthetically pleasing, but this looks exactly the way it does in The Sims 2. So basically you could come here and actually dine out um, and eat here at these tables, um, just like the, the way it was in The Sims 2. So I love this setup over here. We even have a like gaming center over here. This is actually what this would be a really fun lot to bring your Sims. And there's like a little dance floor in here too, which is super nice. What are you doing, Buzz? You need to be back home. <laughs> it's almost two o'clock in the morning and General Buzz is going into the nightclub in his uniform, mind you, in his uniform. So now we're at the Monty household and it looks so good. Oh my God, you guys, like literally the save file is so incredible, so incredible. I did wanna show you guys around. It looks exactly the same as it did in The Sims 2 and it's a very awkward layout, trust me, I know, but this is exactly the way it had reflected in The Sims 2 and I just love the courtyard in here. The save file is honestly perfect for someone that has played The Sims 2 their whole life and kind of want a little bit of sims 2 or i guess i should say a lot of it of the sims 2 and the sims 4 with you know better graphics and the sims 4 experience but with all of the lore and the townies and the pre-maids of the sims 2 and into the sims 4 and all of the amazing storylines that comes with sims 2 so Again, just the depth and the lore of this is just so detailed and I just love all the small details. It's honestly just so impressive. And again, thank you so much to the creator that took the time to do all of this and make our Sims 2 dreams in The Sims 4. It's just so amazing. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to bring the save file to you. If, for those of you that have never seen the save file, just like me, I hope it brings you joy. I hope you get excited over it. Definitely comment down below if you're excited to play with it. And there's definitely some things I left out because I want you guys to be able to check them out on your own as well and get excited to to discover but if you have seen the save all before too let me know if you enjoyed playing it let me know everything that you've done in it have you decided to go along with all the crazy sims drama or did you create your own drama definitely let me know i love hearing from you guys i love you guys so so much and thank you guys for being here and watching this video if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe i'd love for you to be a part of my community i hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you guys in the next video